Hey modelers, engineer Jeff here. And this tutorial, we're gonna paint some Tyranids for the High Fleet Kraken. Um, specifically, we're gonna paint gargoyles. So what I did was I went in with some bone white and I airbrushed the model. And we're gonna take some of this gory red, put about three or four drops of paint and one drop of water. And I'm going to mix it up. I'm going to paint the carapace. I'm kind of excited that the, the new codex is coming out. The, some of the rumors are that there's going to be uh, like a named flyer like character. Or maybe it's a harpy. I don't know. But uh, that will allow taking gargoyles as troop choices. kind of had the idea of uh, having a lot of winged models in my army. Um, I don't know. We'll see what the codex brings. Either way, I'm having a blast painting these guys. If they do end up becoming troop choices, then I may end up buying a lot more gargoyles. So if you make a mistake and you get red on the wrong part of the model, uh, you can wait till the paint dries and then just go back in with some bone white, touch it back up. Or if it looks good, you can just leave it like that. Here I'm painting the top of the gun, the, the carapace on top of the gun, I'm painting it red. And looking back, I think the next batch of gargoyles I'm going to paint, um, I want to do so without gluing them to the base because I kind of like the idea of a clear base for these. You can see I've got some overspray on it from where I airbrushed it. And here we're painting the um, the claws on the wings red. Should end up with something that looks a little like this. I'm going to take some Escorpina green. I'm going to paint these vent thingies. Still waiting for someone to tell me what these are. Come on, people, do I have to beg? be two on the top and then there's a bunch of them on the gun and then some on the arms just take your time
should end up with something like that. Here I'm taking the Freak Flex red tint and we're going to paint the little muscle areas in between the joints. You can get the same effect with uh, the Minotaur red, uh, so I'm told. Should end up with something a little like that. So we're going to take the electric blue by Vallejo Game Color and I'm going to paint his tongue. Why blue? I don't know. I just thought it was a cool color. Take some Warlord purple and there's this little shooty like vent thing directly above it. I'm just mixing it in with the electric blue that I had left on the palette. And I'm just going to paint this, I don't know, tube thingy that he's got coming out of his mouth just above the tongue. Try to do a, like a kind of a wet blend into the blue on the tongue itself. This is what we got so far. So I'm going to take some Vallejo Game Color Orange Fire and we're going to just kind of mix it in along the carapace edge. Try not to get it down into the crevices. One thing I've found, uh, the more of these regular troops I paint, uh, the more I really want to paint one of these bigger bugs. So I think what I'm going to do as a reward, is may say I'll paint uh, 10 or 15 troops and then I'll paint a Turbogon um, or a Zoanthrope or something like that. Try to keep me motivated. That's what we got so far. I'm going to take some game color gold yellow. I'm going to mix it in with a little bit of the bone white and start doing the, uh, the texture on these carapace. Just going to use uh, quick little brush strokes. 
want to make sure you don't have too much paint on your brush. You'll find that the carapace isn't always even. Um, so you want to like skip areas where there's like a crease or something or a crack in it. It's kind of hard to explain, but if you watch, there'll be areas that I kind of jump over. Um, it's because there's a small crack in the carapace. This gives it like little nuances that make it look more real. As real as a Tyranid could be, I guess. Again, make sure your brush isn't loaded down with paint because you don't want to obliterate the red or any of the highlighting that you did earlier. You find with practice you can make smaller and smaller strokes, finer and finer lines. This brush that I'm using is a um, number one Winsor Newton. So it's not a super small brush. It still holds uh, a nice little load of paint when I need it to. You can see I'm just making little little taps, little strokes. And I'm going to do the edge of the tail, since that's kind of a blade. Go in here and paint the gun. And we'll do a little edge highlighting on the claws. should have something a little like that. So I went down to my local uh, Walmart or something, wherever it was we got it, big department store, and I got a massive thing of this poly shade in antique walnut. And I got my pliers, and I dunked this sucker. Take it out, flick it a few times, and when it dries, about six hours later, you hit it with some dull coat and you get something like this. You get some pooling. Uh, if you get a lot of pooling in the areas you don't want it to be, then you go in with a brush and remove it. Pull it out. So I'm taking that Escorpina green now. And I'm going to paint the eyes. too much paint on that brush. What am I thinking? And we'll go back over the 
vents or the muscles. Again, taking care to not obliterate any subtle shading you might have got from the dip. For a long time there, I was anti-dip. I didn't want anything to do with it. I thought it was cheating. Um, but when you're painting, I don't know, say a typical Tyranid Brood will run you 20 to 30 models and you need something to speed up the process, um, this works out really good. So let's take some bone white and we're going to do some extreme highlighting. I always like to highlight after my dip, uh, try to bring some of the highlights back up. Just the way I like to do it. If you've been following along in these last couple videos um, uh, for High Fleet Kraken and you're like, uh, well, I'm going to do High Fleet Leviathan, well, never fear. I'm going to uh, do a how to paint High Fleet Leviathan video as well. And I might do High Fleet Behemoth. Um, just depends on how many requests I get for it. I don't know that we'll run through every individual troop choice, but maybe I'll just do a carapace painting or something. I don't know. We'll see. Kind of depends on the response to these videos. So I'm going to take some Vallejo Model Air White and I mixed it in with a little bit of Bone White, didn't show that in the video, but I'm going to go in here and, and just real carefully touch up the teeth, kind of make them pop. Got big shiny teefers. Of course, I forgot to do the highlighting on the gun, so went back and did it. I'd like to thank uh, Dan from Discount Game Store for the models. You can find his link in the comments down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, give me some comments down below, and subscribe. Next video is Tyranid Warriors for High Fleet Kraken. We'll see you then. Peace.